Okay guys, this is a disclaimer. If you have not used an ultra wide monitor and don't intend to spend money, please skip this video and do not go into the ultra wide black hole. Hey what up people? What up? So so Today, second-hand LG 4K monitor, which I bought at 1500 for a used one, and then I managed to sell it off at 1007 through Carousel. So, additional money. And then I was so intrigued and excited for a 49-inch monitor, which is it's gonna be like super huge. I've always been seeing, you know, um, these video editors, graphic designers, they're using the 49 inch. So which one should I go with? Should I go with LG or should I go with Samsung or Dell? So after all the research and you know checking availability, I decided to go for a 49 inch Dell Ultra Sharp monitor, which is a bit of a downgrade on the resolution side I used to edit in 4K and now I'm editing in UHD or QHD it's like a besides a full HD which is 1080 I'm now editing at a slightly higher resolution which is 1440 so as you can see it used to be like so packed behind me but I managed to clean everything up because I have this monitor sent to my house at night like just half an hour ago so a bit of advertisement if those of you who are interested to get these after six hustler truckers and i swear that you won't find a, any size like this or any shape like this in singapore head out to facebook at after six hustler or yeah or at instagram at after six hustler okay i'll just link everything below I will launch it. Actually, I already launched it. So, feel free, go down to Instagram, check everything out. So, let's go to the monitor. Okay, so as you can see, I've cleared everything off my desk. And now it's time to do the unboxing, but I cannot just bring the monitor up because it's like super huge. So, I'm just gonna lower this thing so that you can see the unboxing. Okay guys, it's just super penat to do it alone. Super tiring to do it alone. Uh, so this is the monitor. It's 5120 times 1440. Yeah, so that's the one. Okay. So we're gonna... Let me just clear the boxes first. Then me irritating. So we have... Thunderbolt 3 cables. Uh, display port cables. Power adapter. Um, HDMI HDMI and the most important thing after you you fix is the instruction manual okay so let me just clear some stuff um, I'll be back in my 10 minutes It was super tiring, you know, after doing all the rewiring, uh, do a bit of manage, uh, cable management, really tiring. So, this is the new setup, I'm beginning to love it. Uh, this, uh, I, I also plug in my PS4 on my office desk so that I can start playing games. But if you guys do believe me, this is the game I've been playing all the time. It's 
the FIFA 2016. So let's let's don't go with the game. Uh, let's go back to here. So this is where we're gonna toggle the screen. To USB. And there we have. This is my computer now. Forgot the mouse and the keyboard. Wait, ah. Huh? Seriously, I don't know where I put the mouse. Oh, it's here. So keyboard is here, mouse is here. Illustrator. Right guys, imagine just editing your videos on a 49 inch. There's so much real estate, let me just see Nope. So I'm beginning to love it, I swear. Um, but for those who are, who have not done uh, an edit on the ultra wide, you should. But the consequences is you will definitely feel funny if you know you go back to a normal screen so that's about it let me just continue playing my FIFA 2016 I will do an update like usual like the rest okay so I'm there will be a full review on the Forza 60 there will be a full review on the Nanlite uh, power tube which I will just link all of them up here so that's about it, it's just gonna be a short video. Take care, stay safe, please do subscribe if you have not done so. I'd really appreciate it, thank you in advance. So, yeah, stay home, stay safe, and have a good one. Take care, bye.